it's about a particular paradox that I call pyramid of knowledge versus tower of knowledge. Um, and basically it's, uh, and amazingly so, it's given the previous lectures, uh, it is also about education. So uh, I also use this opportunity to say thank you to my teachers, professors and colleagues. Uh, I consider myself quite lucky and also this particular year I am uh, celebrating, I'm personally celebrating 25 years since I graduated from Technical University of Varna and also I benefited of uh, vast work experience thanks again to my uh, colleagues and co-workers. Once you pass through typical technical education um, and for example if you graduate from a technical university you would get what you see on this diagram and which I call um, pyramid of knowledge. It's very deep uh, and it gives you great confidence when you work and when you upgrade this, when you add up to it and when you acquire new building blocks on top of it. Of course, nowadays it's also quite possible to go uh, somewhat cheaper path to to focus more narrowly on particular um, subset of uh, subjects and disciplines and uh, it also has some kind of advantage. It makes, um, it requires less time and effort and it, it brings you faster to the interesting stuff. Um, there is also significant advantage of uh, investing into pyramid of knowledge because for the extra cost that you um, paid um, for the extra time and effort you spent learning uh, so many deep, deeply technical fundamental stuff, uh, you get more confidence and you get uh, better ability to adapt to a changing environment, you are better able to tackle um, different interdisciplinary challenges and uh, better understand what you are actually doing. Especially helpful when uh, uh, the requirements or the uh, environment is changing fast. So once you uh, graduate from a technical institution, uh, you are quite likely to come across some company or employer and they may have some complicated, complex, sorry, um, internal hierarchy. And of course they need a lot of people and maybe they will advertise some open job positions and maybe in many cases you will find out that they, are, uh, they require, they do require proprietary platform or product or software. And this is illustrated on this diagram with a threshold and regrettably the underlying fundamental knowledge is being ignored and companies sometimes do focus on this par particular platform or product whatsoever. Um, so the disadvantage of this situation is that even though companies do try to achieve vendor independence, uh, through their policies, through the many clever people who already work there, they fail to achieve this vendor independence. Not always, but sometimes it happens. Um, and also candidates um, adapt to, to just the formal requirements of these companies. Also, in long run, it makes difficult to pioneer, uh, to do pioneering research and solve interdisciplinary problems. But nevertheless, in my case, the, the, pyram the pyramid of knowledge paid off the extra time and effort invested. So my takeaway message would be, I do recommend, nevertheless, regardless the extra time and effort needed, I do recommend the, 
the classical Bulgarian deep technical education. Thank you for your attention.